potato salad. Life's full of randoms. We're still happy, which is awesome because this is so easy. And the evaporation from the water kind of wicks up through these little cocoa cubes and it gives the plants plenty of moisture down there a couple inches. And there's no gnats because uh, the moisture content's too far down in this uh, medium. And gnats like really moist uh, surface or just like a couple centimeters off of the surface for them to lay their larva and then they eat on the roots. Uh, that's why they're called fungus gnats. They feed on the fungus that live on the roots. And there's no fungus here either, so it's super clean. So far, it's early in the game still, but I'm not noticing any difference between using aerator stones, this hydroponic pump system, or just nothing at all. These two buckets right here in front with these tomato plants don't have any form of aeration or pumping going on. So the experiment is to see if this plant does best with this setup, if this plant, these plants, these three right here, let me back up, these one, two, three right here are with aerator stones, really you know, pretty good size air stones, and then again these two don't have anything. And it's so silly that my phone can't decide on white balance. So you guys get to deal with a white and a yellow video. White, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. Two weeks in, and this is what it looks like. Under one T5 light fixture. Six five gallon bucket, hydroponic. And then a whole bunch of starts. Herbs and greens. I'm so excited. Strawberry banana is looking pretty good. This is about week two and a half, pushing week three. Trichomes are starting to develop. These plants are doing very well for having been through some serious hailstorms. So before I finished, I decided to show you what goes in a shake. You usually do about, this is for both Shayla and I, and it's usually about three cups of greens, three cups of fruit, or roughly one banana, a good, a good handful of fruit, and then about equal as much greens. I like to add in flaxseed meal, it doesn't matter what kind. You could use a measuring device, or you just eyeball it. It's a couple strawberries and blueberries, a dash of water. Away we go. A couple chunkies in there. A couple of bananas slipped through, it looks like. Yeah, usually when you use blueberries, they take over. Kale, blueberries, strawberries, banana, flax. It'll cure what ails you. And it tastes delicious at the same time. What you making? It's a hearts of palm salad but inspired by tuna salad. Forgot to measure. Let's see what that does. Made it out of sunflowers, because that's just what I had, but usually I like it out of cashews or almonds, maybe. I use the outsides of the hearts of the palm, too, in this one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So good. Call you Johnny Buckseed. You're gonna be pooping so many apple seeds, but they'll be buck. They'll be born from buck butt. Johnny Buckseed is ignoring me.